Yeah. Hello, Mr. Cole. Uh, yes. Hi, Justin Williams with ADP. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Did we have something scheduled? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Uh, did Erin tell you that we had a meeting scheduled for today? Erin. Um, yeah, uh, she may have. I honestly don't know. Okay, I'm sorry um, about that. Is it okay if I sit down? Sure. Would, sure. Do, would you have time for a 20-minute me meeting? 20 minute meeting? 20 minutes. Um, I, I guess we'll, we'll start and... I mean, you know, kind of be doing some other things okay. at the same time. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. Well, um, I've heard about your company. I've looked you up a lot. On your, I've looked on your website a lot. And when I was driving here today, I was thinking about my puppy. Mm. Her name is Charlie. And this is her right here. Mm. She's a yellow lab. And um, I was thinking about your guys' experience that you would give to her if she was to come here. She would you know, be pampered, and all of her puppy dreams would come true. And then it hit me that ADP does the same thing for their customers. Except for, what we like to do is make their business dreams come true. And we do this by taking away the administrative, cash management, people management, and risk management um, activities that a business owner would have to do so that they can just focus on the business goals and making their business exactly what they want it to be. So today, what I'd like to take our 20 minutes to do is just talk about Fairy Pet Parents and then talk about where some of your dreams and goals lie within the areas of cash management, people management, and risk management. And then if we find some mutual benefit together, we can explore the next steps to a magical partnership. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, I, I mean, the, the way things are right now, I, I'm really not in the market to, to, to buy anything. There's, there's really, there is no budget right now. So I just wanna make sure that that's clear up front. Okay, so you're not in. You're not going to buy anything today. Um, you know, I, I, there's not. There's no budget right now. Okay, I can completely understand that. And what I want to do today is not necessarily sell you on anything. I just want to have a conversation about your company and see what's going on, and hopefully find some mutual benefit, and then we can discuss the price and figure out something that could hopefully work for you. Does that sound like a good plan? Sure. Okay, great. So first things first, when it comes to making a decision about uh, changing over payroll, human resources, anything like that. Who would be involved in a decision like that? Um, it's all me. It's all I'm, you. Uh, okay. Grooming the dogs, running the payroll, um, making the decisions. Okay, alrighty. And when it comes to time to make a decision, what is the one thing you're looking for when you go to partner with someone else? Um, how they can help me uh, grow the business, get more cash flow. Uh, actually make a profit out of this thing that we started. Okay, yeah, of course. Profit. So, you're processing payroll weekly, correct? Yes. Okay, and you have your one location, but you kind of go out to all the different locations around this area? Well, yeah, we have people who go to the houses and sit with the dogs at the at the client's house. Yes. Okay, how many employees do you have currently doing that? Ten. Ten, okay. Well, there's ten total employees. Okay, ten total employees. All right, so we're just going to kind of look at, we're going to look at this wheel. And of, on this wheel, where would you say you'd like to talk about if anything in here was giving you any type of issues or uh, not making it easy for you to reach your goal of more profits, higher cash flows, and growth? Um... You know, I guess there. You know, there's time and attendance. There's processing. I, like I said, I mean, the, the biggest part for me, you know, realistically, I, I, if I could, I'd go back in time and just get out of this business. Um, but you know, where we are right now, uh, you know, a lot of it is um, some of the the hiring. You know, the hiring? taxes. Okay. Uh, you know, the the payroll. I mean, listen, the entire wheel. I, I, I'd love for someone to, to come in and help me out with all of that. Okay, well that's good news. Um, but let's start with time and attendance, since that's what you said first. Sure. How currently are you tracking the time of the employees that go from house to house? Uh, when I see them, and I know that they're out, um, I, I know that, okay, I'll put it on an Excel spreadsheet and say, okay, okay they've, they've left, and then when they come back, I, I, I look at my watch, I see when they came back, I put that on an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, that's pretty much how as, as manual as we can get. Okay, so you're kind of just going off of the word of the employee. Yes. Correct? Alrighty. I would like to share something with you. This is something that me and my colleagues came up with based on the research that we have done. And it's actually just about time and attendance. And it's about employees. And so you have 10 employees. How much are you currently paying them, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, as little as I can. You're right at minimum um, wage, so right at yeah. about $8 an hour? Sure. Okay. So... Let's just say um, they're kind of fudging on how they're telling you your time. 
So they're saying it's about five minutes before they clock in, five minutes when they take their lunch break, and five minutes when they're coming back into the office. Okay. Within that five minutes, so 15 minutes overall with your 10 employees, if you're paying them $8 an hour, it would come to almost $7,000 a year that you're overpaying your employees. Okay. Okay? So $7,000. What would $7,000 mean to the growth and the profit of Fairy Pet Parents? That would reduce our losses. Reduce your losses, right? And that would keep it able to keep the doors open. Uh, probably not get us all the way there. Not all the way there, but a sure. little bit. One, one step closer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, right now, um, you know, I've got three credit cards. Two of them are maxed out. I'm okay. using some of them to actually pay, you know, pay my employees to finish payroll so uh, okay you know seven thousand might clear one of the two all right well that would that would be good I mean I would hope that we could potentially help you with something like that all right so the next step would be let's talk about payroll processing you said that you're the one who's processing payroll right now yes correct? okay walk me through your process that Excel spreadsheet I talked about mm -hmm. um, you know that by the end of the week it should have all the right information in there um, I'll calculate the you know the total hours by the hourly rate, mm -hmm. and then uh, manually write out each check for each employee. Okay. And uh, that's about the uh, that's the process. Okay. How long is that taking you to do? Um, uh, about four hours. Four hours four a week. Four hours a week. Yeah. Okay, so you're looking at 16 hours a month that you're spending doing payroll. Yeah. Okay. With 16 hours, what else could you be doing to help bring profit back to your business? 16 hours a, m a month? A month, yes. Um, I don't know, probably wash a couple more dogs. Okay, so a couple more dogs. All right. So how much does each dog, how much profit do you make from wash washing or watching each dog? Uh, well, I'm not uh, really personally watching, uh, watching or washing the dog sometimes. It's probably someone, one of the lazy people from my staff's trying to do it. But, um... I don't know. Uh, you know, the margins aren't huge. Maybe, you know, maybe ten dollars a dog, something like. That. Okay. So if you could wash ten more dogs a month, that's a hundred dollars more. Sure. Okay. So another hundred dollars to the bottom line, which anything helps. You know? Yeah. Okay. So sixteen hours. If we could find a, re a way to reduce it down from four hours a week to maybe a half hour a week, mm -hmm. would that make you happy and ease your mind a little bit more about the time you're spending on? doing payroll yeah anything I guess at this point would help okay and then lastly um, let's talk about taxes mm -hmm. so right now through your process you're doing the Excel and then you're calculating and then you're manually writing checks how are you accounting for your payroll taxes within your payroll process yeah you know I'm really kind of lost in the I will admittedly uh, I'm a little lost in the whole uh, tax filing keeping up with human resources regulations I'm filing them quarterly, but uh, okay. pretty sure I haven't kept up with the, the regulations, particularly on hiring. We got a lot of turnover. Okay. Um, longest employee that we've had here has been six months. Um, to be quite honest, if I could leave, I'd probably get out of here too, but my name's on the door, so I'm, uh, I'm here, as you can see. Yeah, okay. Um, well, you know, I would really like to help you get back to the stream that your business that you had for the business at the beginning. You know, on your website it says that you're in the business of making dreams for making dreams come true for animals. Yeah, that was more my wife. Your wife? Jerry with an eye. Jerry. She uh she loves animals. She was adopting, you know, straight cats, dogs, anything with fur mm -hmm. pretty much. And uh, you know, I like animals but, you know, not as much as she does. So. Okay, well yeah. And so the way I want I would like to help you with your taxes. And so if there was a way that you wouldn't have to be lost in the tax compliance, human resource compliance, which falls in with hiring, making sure that you had more of a set way to make sure that you're not lost anymore. Mm. Would that be able to kind of ease your mind and you wouldn't have to worry about if you were not, if you were getting fined or if you weren't getting fined, things along those lines? Sure. Okay. All right. So with what we've talked about today, we have kind of have talked about the whole entire wheel. So time and attendance and keeping the $7,000 that your employees could potentially be stealing from you, putting it back on your bottom line. Okay. We talked about bringing your four hours a week down to at least 30 minutes a week when it comes to payroll processing. And we also talked about how to keep you compliant when it comes to hiring, human resources, and taxes. And so with all that being said, would you be ready to hear and see more about ADP? 
Uh, I guess, but I mean, before we get into that, I really got to know. I mean, if if something's gonna handle all of this, I got to know what it's gonna cost. I'm uh, really up front. Yeah. Okay. I can totally understand that. Um, why exactly do you want to know exactly how much it costs right up front? Well, as you know, I can barely pay, pay my employees or my credit card bills. So okay. before we really waste each other's time on this, I, I need to know how much it's going to cost. I can totally understand where you're coming from. Um, I believe that by you seeing this, it'll make more of what the cost of what it's worth, a little bit more. And so I understand that you would like to see the cost, and we will get there. Within the next five minutes, it'll be a very short presentation. I'll groove right on to the price. Does that sound like a good plan? I have to see the price first. Okay. All right. Um, what if I built the price into how I do the presentation? Would that work for you? I really have to see the price first. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how much it costs, and then I'm going to go straight into a presentation. Does that sound like a good plan? That's fine. Okay. As All long right. as the price is okay, we can go into the presentation. Okay. So right now you have 10 employees. Do you have a pen? I do have a pen. Here you are. Okay. Yeah. Right now you have 10 employees, and so it's going to come to $28.95 per payroll cycle. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be $30 for, e basically right around $30 for each payroll cycle. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at $120 a month. Okay. Alrighty. Um, there's going to be a one-time implementation cost and a one-time implementation fee for your company ID, which totals $350. But that is something that I would have to get with my supervisors and see if we could do it. Well, we will do a payment plan and see if we can work on getting those reduced. Okay? okay, so you're looking right now, no contract for your first time to do your implement, your first time getting your payroll through, twenty eight ninety five. Okay. Okay, so that's all you'd have to pay for the first week, and that doesn't start until we start implementing. But how do we track when they come in? I still have to watch them come in and everything. Yes. And so, if with your permission, I'd like to show you a little bit about that. Okay. okay. So, first, um, one thing I just like to tell you about ADP, which I think would ease your mind a little bit about our company is that we have a 98% retention rate when it comes to our customers. These 600,000 customers, 98% retention rate. And, you know, we have high profits and we like that our customers have high profits as well. That's what we're in the business to do. Mm. We're in the business to help people save money, help make their dreams come true. So that's what we're going to intend to do for you today. Alrighty? Okay. So first thing I want to show you is how you will track your employees' time. It's going to start with the ADP mobile app that all of your employees will have on their phone. What they're going to do, they're going to go right on in. I'm just going to show you the demo today. How it's going to work, there's going to be a clock in button on their phone. They're going to push clock. All right. It's going, once they clock in, it's going to time stamp and location stamp exactly where they're at. So they will be doing this. So there's GPS on their phones. There is, yes. So they will time stamp exactly where they're at. That will dump right on into your phone, which is going to dump into the run app. So it's not going to, they can't be down the block and say they're actually in the store. They actually literally have to be in the store. They will literally have or to be in the if store. Or they're at site, or, or, you know, at a, watching, dog sitting a customer, mm -hmm. they, they, will they, actually they will pop up be. at that address. Yes. So that will be able to, there will be no more stealing. So that $7,000 will be eliminated and be put back onto your bottom line. Mm. Okay. Or back to your credit cards. Back to keeping the doors open. Mm -hmm. So, this time in attendance, we'll dump right on into this Run app, which will be on your smartphone, your desktop computer, and your, your tablet. How it will work for you to payroll, process payroll, no more Excel spreadsheets, no more calculating, no more manually writing checks. You'll go right on in and push payroll. You'll push resume. And if you like, you can push them for me. Um, no, that's so fine. No, that's good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, if you no longer want to write manual checks, you can put you can have direct deposit. Direct does that cost extra? No, it does not. It is included in the price. Okay, so it's going to show you your start date and your end date. Like I said, hours will be put in. You're going to push resume. Okay, it's going to show you all of your employees. It's going to show you how many hours they've worked for that pay period, so for that week. It'll also show you your salary employees, if you have any of those, so possibly you and your wife. Um, it'll show you everything. You'll push preview. You'll push calculate. Okay, so it's going to calculate your payroll. What it's going to do, it's going to show you exactly how much cash is required to run payroll for that period. How much I have to put on my credit card. Right. And also, what it's going to show you is going to show you your employer taxes, so how much you're going to owe for taxes and how much you're going to owe for payroll. Mm. Okay? And so you can also see a report. It gives you a report. It's going to be the liability preview. It'll show you everything that you owe. A feature of ADP is that we can act as your savings account. 
So once we get this cash flow issue back up, what we'll do is we'll take, if you allow us to, we'll take the taxes that are owed, put them into a savings account for you, and then quarterly pay it out. So you'll never have to touch that money or keep it safe or have to pay it. We'll pay it for you. So it's a nice... Um, How are you getting that money from me? Well, because we're running your payroll. Right. So it's... So you're taking it from like accounts? So once we have direct deposit set okay. up from your account into your employees' accounts. So with your approval... Well, if I have to pay, use my credit card, that's not going to happen, right? No, it can still happen. We can set it up through that account as well. It's all about how we can put as many cards as you want on the account, and you'll let us know through this which would you you would like to use. Okay. okay? And so as simple as you'll be able to see um, all the taxes, everything like that, you'll push approve, approve payroll, and it's done. And your payroll's done. So the four hours that you were spent running around, doing things like that, no longer has to be spent. It'll all be done right from your smartphone, in your car, when you're on the way to... Maybe a movie with your wife or something along those lines. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> and then also the last thing we want to talk about is just keeping you compliant. So a lot of the stuff in the app will help with the taxes as far as the employee taxes, things like those, things like that. But what ADP offers on the side as well is that we have departments for human resource compliance, tax compliance, hiring compliance, insurance compliance that sends out everyday emails and everyday updates that lets you know the things that you need to be changing. And if we're responsible for something, like, for instance, paying for your, your employer taxes and we're late on a payment or we don't pay it, we take that liability. It's no longer on you. Okay. Okay? So if any, if there's any issues or anything, I get fined or something, that's, that's on you guys. Yes. If we, if we decide to take that route, we'll take the liability of that. Yes, okay. we will. Okay? So with everything we've talked about today, I know that there are some things, um, you know, in your path right now. but. Would you be interested in, you know, maybe starting up the first round of payroll? There is no contracts with ADP. So you would have to, we can pay out the $350 of the implementation fees over time. But the very first payment will be due on the day that we run payroll. So what we can get started today is getting your employees into our system so that they can start clocking in and you can start seeing the reduce in payments that you have to be paying your employees. What do you say about that? I mean, it, it, there's definitely a lot of stuff that you touched on, a lot of areas where I can see, you know, that'll help. But, uh, you know, as I told you, you know, there, there's no budget right now. Okay. I'm using, I've maxed out on two of my three credit cards. Um, you know, realistically, do, do you even want to do business with somebody who, who's maxed out on two of their three credit cards and can barely pay their credit cards or, or pay their employees? Um, well, are, are you asking if I would am interested in doing business with you? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, why? I, mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay this 120 a month. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I think that a really realistic way to look at it is that it's thirty dollars a week mm -hmm. so instead of 120 a month. Even though it's the same thing, but mm -hmm. it's easier in short-term goals. And as far as me wanting to do business, I want to help you. I do. I want to help you get back up and get this business running and the dream that you saw it to be. And if that takes a couple more meetings to get there and a couple more plans to help you get there, then I would like to do that because I'd like to make you one of our 600,000 customers. I would. And I'd like to be responsible for helping you keep your doors open and help many people with their pet, have their pets watched from you. Okay? So would you be interested in maybe in next week, same time, having a meeting and kind of going over a plan to, if I can help you start planning out Sure. Yeah? yeah okay. Let's, let's, let's give it a try. Okay, so next week, Thursday at 2 o'clock. How does that sound? Uh, that's fine. You probably want to call me Monday just to remind me because I won't remember. I will do that. Can I borrow the pen really quick? Sure, sure. Okay, perfect. So Monday. I will call you, and we'll get something set up, all right? And we're going to move towards a partnership, if that is okay with you. Yep. Yep. That sounds good. All right. Well, thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you. It's nice meeting you. <laughs> I forgot to give you my business card, but here you go. I'll give it to you right now. <laughs> here you go. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Jesse. Nice, nice, nice to you. meet you. That was fun. I've never done one that hard. <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it's all, it's all, you know, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be a very nice person, so. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. okay. It's okay. Um, our professor, he's from New York, he's from like up north, and uh -huh. he has this similar accent, and so I'm kind of used to it, because he's always really tough, like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me try again. <laughs>
Right, well, nice job. Thank you very much. It was really nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks for sticking in there. Yeah, of course. <laughs>